Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Sorry, I don't have any chairs in here. But you can just take a seat on my bed. There's plenty of space, and hey, it's a lot comfier than a chair. Thanks for coming over on such short notice, by the way. There was actually something I wanted to ask you. You know what's coming up, right? Well, yeah, that. But there's something besides that. I was talking about your birthday. Don't tell me you forgot. Well, I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. I was hoping you'd be able to tell me what sort of present you'd like me to get you. I know surprises are nice, and it would be great if I surprised you with something you really liked. But I'm worried maybe I'd accidentally get you something you didn't like, and that would really suck and ruin the special occasion. Not to mention, then you'd have to awkwardly pretend to like it or want it in order to protect my feelings. Now, I think I have a vague idea of the sort of thing you'd like as a present. I didn't wiretap you for nothing. But I would really like to hear from you, just to make sure. I mean, as much as I'd love to, I can't read your mind, so you're going to have to tell me. You what? Could you say that again? That's what I thought you said. Don't tell me you heard what I whispered. You didn't? You sure? So then are you serious? You really want me to pretend to be Yonder Ray for your birthday? Like the painted you on the inside of their eyelids so they can even watch you in their sleep kind of Yonder Ray? That kind of Yonder Ray? I mean, I'm not judging, but why would you want me to pretend to be a Yonder Ray for your birthday? Because you like Yonder Rays, really. You know what a Yonder Ray is, right? The kind of person that has a shrine to their love interest, stalks them, sneaks into their house when they aren't there to roll around in their blankets. That sort of thing. That's the sort of personality you love? Well, okay. Like I said, I'm not judging you. I'd do anything to make you happy. So I can pretend to be Yonder Ray for you. Now, just to make sure this is what you really want for your birthday, how about we have a free trial right now? Sound good? <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. Now, how should I start things off? Hmm. Oh, I know. Why did I handcuff you to the bed? Because it's what a yonder ray would do. You know how the stock line goes. Oh, no, you can never leave me. We'll be together forever. You won't be able to see anyone else, but it's okay. I'm the only person you need. I'll do anything for you other than let you go outside. I'm sure we've both heard it a thousand times by now. Are you alright so far? We really should have established a safe word or something before starting all this. Oh well, too late now. But from the look on your face, it seems we don't need one. I've never seen you smile like that. I didn't even know your mouth could open that wide. It's actually kind of scary. Maybe you really do like your underrays. I thought you were pulling my leg at first, but I think you're starting to get through to me. Well, I'm just happy you're happy. It's good you like me as a yonder ray. Pretend, Yandere, of course. This is all just pretend. I'm not really imprisoning you in my house for the rest of our lives. Unless you want me to. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Like I said, this is all an act. Just like you wanted. I'm not really handcuffing you to my bed. That's not to say I'm not dedicated to my role, though. I mean, look, I have my notebook here. I wrote your name in it from cover to cover. It's also full of little hearts next to the names from time to time. I've got more like this if you want to see, just like a real Yandere would. <laughs> I'm joking, look. Let me open it up for you, see? The insides are blank. This notebook is empty. You're so easy to tease. You look like you really believe me for a second, but um, I'm not sure if that grin on your face is the proper response to a crazy Yandere. But what would I know? I'm a crazy Yandere. <laughs> wow, you really like it when I say I'm a crazy Yandere, don't you? That really touches my heart because, you know, I'm actually even crazier than all this. Hey, could you do me a favor? Could you take a look inside of this notebook for me and tell me what you see? That's right, your name. From cover to cover, decorated with hearts. It really wasn't a bother. In fact, I enjoyed doing it. That's why this isn't the only one. I really wish I was more well-worded. Then maybe I could tell you just how much I love you. But when I'm by myself, I felt this was the only real way I could express my love by putting it down into my notebooks, one by one, flooding the paper with my affection. 
Mm, I can't tell if that wide-eyed expression of yours is shock or ecstasy, but I guess it doesn't matter. You really do love yonderays, don't you? So you love me, don't you, darling? I love you. I love you more than you can ever imagine. It hurts me so much to be away from you. It's so hard to function. That's why I keep using the wallpaper on my phone on me all the time. So it's like you're always with me no matter where I go. And that was just in the past. Now that I know you love the real me, that just makes me love you even more. I don't have to hide it anymore. I don't have to worry about being too clingy. I can finally show you just how much I love you, even if I can't tell you. But just to confirm, you really do like yonder rays, right? And you love me? Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, but you know I'm being real, right? This isn't just all an act. I thought the notebook would definitely get the idea across, but maybe you thought that was just a lucky prop I had beforehand or something. No, I really love you this much. If you doubt it, I could prove it. By, say, killing someone for you? No? You believe me? Oh, that's such a relief. To think my feelings actually reached you, we need to celebrate. There's so many things we could do to celebrate. I could put a GPS tracker in you, or we could take a look at our photo album full of all the pictures I took of you before we even met. <sighs> the future is blinding. What's that? You want to get out? Hmm, I don't know. I know things were working out even before all of this, so logically it's not like I have to keep you here, but still it's so hard to believe you actually love me. Part of me still feels anxious that you're just making all this up and that you'll run away, you know. And that makes me want to keep you right here like this. Well, okay, I'll let you out. In a little bit. Just let me hold you for a while and really appreciate you being in my arms. This doesn't happen every day after all. <laughs> but I guess it can from now on. I guess I'll have to get you a different birthday present now. I'm sure I'll think of something.